editing this video right now, so I thought I'd pop on and give a quick introduction. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am not matching, and I really don't care because it's my day off, and I'm just relaxing. Doctor's orders. So here is why I'm making some crutch pads. So the first day I came home with crutches, I wanted to go to medical straight from the doctor's office. Not smart. <laughs> But I wanted some stickers. I felt like, you know what, I got injured. Um, I want to cheer myself up by getting some stickers. Ended up with a giant rash under my armpits from the crutches and it was no bueno. So I was like, okay, I have to do something with this. So first I lowered the crutches because I am 5'2 and the nurse put me at 5'8 or 5'7. Um, saying that it needed to be higher and higher and I was like, I don't think so. So the crutches were literally like right up against my armpit and just like rubbing it super raw and we were literally at Michael's for maybe 10 minutes and I literally had such a bad rash for like the next three days that it was too painful to even use them. So learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Let's get into this. I recently fractured my foot, so I am now hacking it up and making some crutch covers. So these ones were pretty simple to make, but I'm going to show you some tips. So this is the cotton print that I decided on, the little guy from Frozen 2, and I've got three layers of the batting, but the trick is, first time I tried to just sew all the layers like this to create a clean edge. Um, some people do a little trim. I think that's a little bit too much work. So I'm just gonna cut this down and show you how I do that. Just one moment. So this is what you want. You want the cotton piece to be longer than your fleece or your batting. Just so when you fold it over, you're not dealing with six layers and then your machine gets a little bit weird and then you end up with a seam that looks kind of like this. And it's not very pretty. But to fix this, all I'm gonna do is sew it because it didn't even get all the layers. So the little trim edge on the inside to this guy and it should be fine. But in order to avoid that on the second arm, I have just left a little bit of an allowance to make the seam on both sides. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then all I have to do is fold it over and create my two seams. So since I'm only filming with one hand, it's kind of hard. So I'm gonna do the steps and do it that way because it's gonna be a little bit easier. Once it is all pinned up, it is time to sew. As you can see, the fleece is a little bit longer on the sides. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect um, because you're going to be sewing on both sides. But in order to eliminate the extra trim piece, do this first to create that nice edge, which will end up looking like this side. And yeah, so let's start sewing. You're just gonna create a very basic stitch on both sides just to keep it all together. Once you finish off both sides, it is time to do these sides. So you're gonna flip it so it's right sides together. Sorry, filming this on my phone is a little difficult. And then you're just gonna sew across this way and then wait before you do the other side because I'll tell you in a second. After completing the first side seam, go ahead and take the crutch pad off your crutches and line it up see how much of the length you need and how much you need to cut off. Go ahead and place it inside and just kind of eyeball it. That's what I did. And then all you need to do is flip it inside out and you're done.